Okay, so now I'm ready for the next part. I've got my newspaper. I just got a little bit of water from the back counter in one of the yogurt cups. So it's not maybe about this much water. That's all you need. And then I got a brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna activate the marker that I got on there with the paint with the water. And you can kind of see it makes it move. But you have to be really careful that you go around the frogs, okay? So that's why I gave the smaller brushes because I'm using the very tip of the brush. So I'm not mashing the brush to my paper and I'm carefully painting around it to kind of control that water. And you really don't have to use very much water because it will move the paint with or the marker without it, without using very much. Okay, and then you're gonna see that all those different values of blue that you added, they're all kind of working together and mixing to create other values of blue. Okay, and so I'm painting side to side, I'm painting up and down. You can kind of choose how you're doing that. If you get too much water on your brush, you may get a Kleenex and you can try to control the, the water too. So you can take some of the water off of your brush and you don't need to rinse your brush because you're only doing blue. So you don't have to worry about cleaning the brush. Now, once you have the whole background clean, uh, painted, you are gonna carry your paper, your frog paper with your newspaper you're gonna put it on the dry rack, two in the back, two in the front. And then if you're the fourth person, you're gonna put the next level down. You're gonna put your brush in the dirty brushes, um, the dirty brush bucket, and then um, somebody will have to clean those brushes when you are gone. And then you are gonna dump out the water that you used and you're gonna stack it back up on the, the tower of cups, yogurt cups. And I hope you have fun doing this.